new news headlines. A Colorado Springs woman is reaching out to News 5 after she says just a casual morning stroll along Vermaho Park near Old Colorado City quickly turned into a major brawl with a group of homeless people, all because she wanted to use the park's bathroom. She claims they wouldn't let her go near it. News 5's Jessica Barreto spoke to the woman about what changes she'd like to see. Jessica? Well, Virginia Paul, who's lived in the area for three years now, wants this group banned from the park for visitor safety. But after this morning's scare, she told me she's not likely to venture out there ever again. Virginia Paul was on a morning stroll to buy some groceries when she and her dogs made a stop at Vermaho Park. I usually stop at Vermaho Park here so my dogs can play. She had to use the restroom, but when she walked up to it, she says a group of homeless people confronted her. I went to use the restroom, um, which was locked up, and I was told by four homeless people I couldn't use it because it was their property. The moment she called police, she claims the situation escalated, and a woman in the group lunged at her. She attacked me. I thought she had a knife in her hand because she had her hand behind her back when she was running. Even though it turns out she didn't have a weapon, Paul says the woman hit her several times and police charged her with harassment. She says the group is the same one we filmed still hanging out by the bathroom area. And despite the no camping sign, Paul says they're claiming this area as their own living space. There's a hangover on there so they can sleep underneath it. And now she feels unsafe in a place she used to enjoy. I would like to have the right to be able to walk outside my home um, walk through a park with, with my animals uh, and be able to use a, a public restroom in a park if I have to. Paul, who struggles with PTSD but copes with the help of her service dogs, says the altercation here has made her think twice about walking outside. I probably won't be coming out here anymore. We reached out to Colorado Springs Police to request Virginia Paul's incident report and also ask how police enforce the no camping rule. We're still waiting for those answers, but we'll update you as soon as we get them. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Jessica Barreto, News 5. Thank you, Jessica. Have a couple